Okay, hi everyone, it's Conzel here. So today we are doing a uh, note war. It's actually three way, but the other guild is a really small guild, so it really doesn't really matter. The It's essentially a 1v1 versus this guild here, which is the uh, same one with the uh, whole tons of uh, huntresses. The one where we lost the 1v2, mainly because he was well, 1v2, and also because the position was really bad where we had a bad door into our base. So that was uh, quite unlucky on our part. But uh, this guild, right, that being said, this guild still has a lot of uh, high CP characters. I think there's two guys with higher CP than me now. One is the number two, uh, the new number two CP, because the previous number two has, I think she has given up um, pumping her CP further. Probably she's frustrated with the uh, balance as well, the balance changes that were made uh, back in February for us. Where the minimum damage right has been increased from 10 to 100. It's also the reason why you see me dying a lot more because of precisely because of this. We are taking like 10 times the amount of damage compared to previously. This so called a uh, balance change. Yeah. So maybe that's the reason why she gave up on her pumping her CP and instead focus on arena and change her class to Lancer. I was very shocked when she changed her class to Lancer. So I suppose she only wanted to just play arena. And just give out a CP. So uh, that being said, right, the other guy that has higher CP than me is the guy who was super super lucky to get a plus eight totem. That's why his CP is uh, good, has boosted, has been boosted by so much. Okay, so let's focus on the uh, fight itself because actually this is a pre-recorded video. Uh, in future, right, all my note wars will likely be pre-recorded videos if I need to join the uh, line chat, which is like Discord, basically. Oh, I still managed to kill one before I died. I forgot to unlock my... Uh be port and kind of thing of it I can change totem also change to the cheat death get the cheat death effect going try to get more kills with the cheat death totem yeah so this is cheat death effect yeah we got like two three kills and we brought a lot of uh, characters down further before we die. So throughout the note war you will see me switching totems like this because there's no other choice. They don't have a like hockey setup for totem change right now. Not like the ones that we have for pets and light stones. Look at this, the moment I get knocked down right, I will get bursted down to death. Mainly because of the stupid balance change. And uh, also because of the number of huntresses that they have. And also their high CP. But that being said right, the uh, balance change I very sure is something that uh, the F2P players will welcome for sure. Otherwise it's really very tough to fight against uh, people with higher CP than you. That I can understand. Just that that balance change has actually caused a lot of uh, the players that I know to be like very frustrated and almost giving up kind of uh, scenario. Yeah, like quitting BDM kind of scenario. I think the balance is fine, but they shouldn't have made it like ten times the damage, maybe five times the damage. Yeah, because they changed it like from minimum damage ten to minimum damage hundred.
Okay. Look at all the players that we are killing. It's just mostly huntresses. Well, this is the guy with the plus eight totem, the destroyer that I just killed. I was just checking out what else is over there. Honestly, I'm thinking I was, was going to ignore him. I don't know why he want to chase me. So, might as well just kill him. I'm going to take out the cannons here. I don't really care anyway, 1v2, I can definitely win. So that's why I'm using auto attack. Mainly because I'm hitting cannons as well, so... It's going to be very important to take out their cannons. Once they do have any cannons and uh, elephants left, right, then it's up to our cannons and elephants to take their base down. Because they have so many huntresses, it's going to be very hard to push in. Ah, crap. That being said, right, um, I think we are doing a good job here and we are definitely winning because our base is still at full health. Whereas there's, uh, we are doing some damage via the cannons. They are too near to their base, that's why you see me not doing any damage, it's because they just came out from their base. You know when you just come out from your base, you are immune to damage for a while. Yeah. It's like, uh, we are versus a Huntress cube. A guild of Huntresses. Ah, crap. That guy is trying to suicide and hit our cannons. I'm 
go to chase. I think taking out their other stuff is more important. Irritating Huntress. Die, 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 die. There's too many of them already. Hmm? I killed the guy that was irritating me. Elephants here. Okay, there's too many of them already. Like I said, the moment you get knocked down, that's it. Time for cheat death. That was the number 2 CP, that's why it took so many spins to kill him and why my HP dropped so much as well. <laughs> yeah, the problem is my HP is too low right now. Time to take out the elephant. So personally, right, I prefer to take out the elephant rather than focus on getting a higher kill count. Because to me, winning the note is more important. Winning the note war. I could have jolly well ignore this elephant and just go over to the front and get more kills. Oh my god, it's like gig gig. Hello. Sorry about that. The video file that I'm playing right now is actually very huge. It's like 26 GB. And that's the reason why it's so lagging.
I should be lagging a bit though. Yeah, as in network lag. Because after hitting that guy and I die, I flew away, then I see the uh, reduction in the HP. Kamikaze time. Worth it? Definitely worth it. Elephant is here again. Free elephant for us, basically. Because we are focused on elephant, right? That's why their line can be pushed over up to here. <laughs> but it's fine, we can push, definitely push them back. See, the problem with having a whole bunch of huntresses, right? Is that your the line that they have, right? Moves very slowly. Sure, you win battles, but your movement speed is... Your entire movement of the army, right? If I can call it army, gets uh, slowed down. There's too many out there on the right side. Ouch. No, I wonder when Archer comes, right? And I use, uh, if I switch my main to Archer, will I get even more kills? I don't know. It's hard to say. The Lan Awakening, right, is basically a Kamikaze character. Go in, kill, kill, kill. If you can escape, escape. If you can't die, reason repeat. Archer would be quite different. I'll be down the bad line. My job is to engage them in battle here so that they can't try to snatch the uh, the buff tower. Now it's time to take down the elephant as well. Okay, crap. I wanted to change to the Hunter Stone, but look at the amount of their. Uh, Cute mix coming. Cheat death time. Okay, 
Okay, fine. Let's kill the elephant again. Okay, that was fast. To get them out of Huntresses. <laughs> I've been lasted long enough for this. You know, the vice skill leader is uh, counting, helping us count the elephants or that. Okay, yeah, there's two cannons that we need to take out over there. This type of like a uh, road, right? It's the best for this guild, the opponent guild, because of their sheer number of their huntresses. It's like a choke point for them. Ah, crap! You know when I fly in, right? I before I even land right, I'm already spending the uh, spin spin skill. But there is a split second where before the super armor of the spin skill kicks in while you land right. That small little split second right, if I get a knock down, then that is what you see just now happening. And you fly in to die, literally to die without attacking. It's not like I was waiting to land before I used this skill. I was already pressing this skill before I even land, actually. Okay, let's do try it again. Uh, this time it's much better. Die, 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 die. My range skill took more than like 3 quarters of that guy's health. So it's a lot better for us, uh, mainly because of the uh, number of hundreds on their end, also the CP. Oh, 
Oh, damn. Oh, at least we killed one. This guy hurts because he has slightly higher CP than me. Hmm. When will I get my plus 8 totem? Now that is really really difficult to get actually. Plus 7 to plus 8 for the totem is an instant like 300 plus CP gain. Okay, let's go for the uh, base. Let's see. Kamikaze. People that's at our candidate must kill, can't just walk by and leave them alone. Too many of them. Ah, uh, GG. There's no real threat to uh, our base yet so far. Yes, we are definitely pushing uh, in to the us, although gradually, since CP wise we are quite evenly matched. Okay, Kamikaze time. Ah, I got hit. Still managed to get two kills while doing kamikaze. Mad to cheat death. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was laughing because I just saw what my kill mates. Okay, sorry, there was a bit of lag. I think the video itself is like too massive, too huge. I, it's actually not a lagging aspect in the game itself. But anyway, I was just saying, uh, one of my guildmates was saying that so these, these guild should just rename themselves to Huntress Guild. <laughs> Which is quite apt. Ah, damn. This guy's uh, CP is not too bad. I remember he's like in the top 10 or top 20, this Huntress. 
Definitely in the top 100. Uh, nice. Doesn't matter if I die where I take now, like what? 10 of them. It's like I use my life to pave the way for the elephant. Is here. Our le elephant will definitely not last long against them because, like I said, they have high CP. Find a chance to go in and take out the base. Just attack the base. Kamikaze mission. Usually, when Note War, uh, how should I put it? When Note War lasts more than half an hour, I start to get a, a bit bored and I rather focus on war, I think, like taking out their base rather than kills. There's enough people that are taking care of that one person, so that's why I came over here instead. That guy had GDF on, that's why he didn't die until you slightly after. Okay, time to suicide again. Wow, nice. That boom mm, sound from all the cues. But I don't think we can last longer. Oh, okay, good. Uh. They always get blocked by this stupid thing. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them here. Now we won't be able to make it in. This feels more like a very sure but slow wing.
trying to look for the last cannon that they have. Oh, never mind. Let's go for kills. Or rather, straight to the base. Oh crap, the number 2 CP. Yeah, defense tower is down. I'm waiting for my HP to recover with the pots. Um, for Kamikaze Ah crap, see? This is what I was talking about where That small little speed second, right? You... you just die You get knocked down Between landing and using your... The super armor skill The one with the spin Trust me man, I was already spamming before I even landed Sorry, that was a bit of lag for me. The joystick, I mean. Oh man. I actually want to make it past this line and try to go to the back to find that last cannon again. The cheat death is like instantly in effect.
Oops. I was in the wrong direction. Okay, I should say the guy died before. Earlier than I expected, yeah. The reason why I did, I'm not going back to the uh, bad mountains right to fight the cannon is because my guildmates already found it. Mm, I think they already take it, took it down so. So now it's just a matter of slowly grinding down their base with the one cannon that we have left. I really like the range skill on uh, Lan because it has forward guard. It's really good for GVG. Kami Kaze time guys. Not bad, I managed to spin like what? Two times? Two of the three spin skills. the main battle and gonna ignore my kill count let's just keep kamikaze the node so that this node war can end uh, they are like full on defense now they just don't want to lose the guild and the node, node any earlier than uh, others you know just to show putting out a good fight not even one of our structure is down I think Let's go for the base. Okay. As long as we hit the node, or rather the base, and we just keep repeating, the node wall will end earlier. We lasted quite long this time. 
lead my usual combo in the GVG plus the uh, Black Spirit skill as well. Still make you spin once. <laughs> time to use the cheat death to last longer at the uh, base. Spin a few more times. Number two CP. Okay, managed to get in. Keep hitting. Ah, uh, cheat death on. But unfortunately, I was down on the floor when cheat death was activated. bunch of them again. Alright, not so bad. Clear the path for my guild mates. Just try to avoid the battle so that I can go straight to the base. Hmm. <laughs> it's really just coming Kaze over and over again. Not them, but since they want to pick a fight. <laughs> oh, I thought it was the number two CP that killed me. It was a huntress that was behind. We should be taking them down very soon.
They are chasing me already. Kamikaze time. Okay, so basically we have succeeded. We have won the 1v1 here. Because uh, that message is that their, their base has been destroyed. <laughs> so basically the fight is over. I'm going to just skip ahead to the uh, final score. So because I know you guys are interested in that. Okay, so here you go. Uh, the number one uh, CP guy it has the highest kill. The Raven that you guys were always talking about uh, second highest. Myself, uh, next in line. My Q count would probably be much closer to them if I had bothered to like continue doing kills all the way. But if you saw, right, I'm like all out on cannons, elephants, kamikaze, etc. Okay, so this has been quite a long video, quite a very, a very long fight. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys next video. Hopefully this was entertaining enough, entertaining enough for you guys. And uh, if you like what you see, remember to like the video and also click the subscribe here. Alright, bye.